I know what you're thinking. His hair's messed up. No, you're probably not thinking that. Hello, hello, YouTube. Quest 151, back at it again. How, you're probably all wondering. Dude, it's Saturday. It's July 4th. Why are you uploading a video? You never upload videos on, one, on, on, on weekends. And so, I was like, remember how I promised, or on Thursday, we had that massive pickup, and we were a little, wow, English is hard. Uh, there were a lot of cards that I picked up, and I was like, oh, these are going to add to my binder. And so I figured I'd do a binder update. However, if you want to skip that, because this, this is going to be a lot of watch, so you want to stay tuned to the end, or you can skip to the, the more fun part, I guess. Uh, but I'm going to do a binder update of the modern sets that we're collecting, as well as I may have spent a little bit more money than I thought yesterday, and I picked up a fair amount of cards, and we're going to see which ones we can add to the collection. So we're going to go through these uh, in a bit, but I want to show you the original binder update, and then I will go through these cards with you, and then that way, after I finish all this, I can go watch Independence Day with Will Smith, and yeah, let's uh, check it out. All right, so we got like five collections to go through. So we're gonna try to make this as fast as possible so we can get to the good stuff or some of the better stuff, more interesting stuff essentially. Uh, so this is our team up binder, um, six sets to go through actually, team up binder. So pages filled out, we're still missing a lot of reverse hollows. I turned off the face cam for this one um, just because that way we can see the binder all clearly. So, uh, pretty fleshed out, still missing some cards, uh, and reverse hollows here and there. I'm missing a lot of hollows and ultra rares, but the binder is starting to get fleshed out, and it's great. I like it. We're making good progress on it. Let's see, missing cards here and there on pages, missing a lot of reverses, and then we get to the back where the full arts are, because we haven't, unfortunately, we didn't get to open that many team up, uh, sets, or uh, booster packs because they were already very hard to find once uh, I got back into the game of collecting because they were very short printed so I only really got to open that one booster pack uh, or that booster box a while back um, and I haven't really opened much since so I've been buying singles and uh, just like collection lots and see if they have team up stuff in there that I can slowly add to flash out the binder so the only you know gold card we pulled was judge whistle but I got meta goggles and Pokemon communication from like resellers and stuff okay moving on um, I still need to figure out these energies yes from team up okay moving on evolutions so uh, it somehow worked out that I could fit evolutions and team up into the same binder just perfectly because this maximum capacity is 360 cards so uh first page pages are relatively filled out we're missing a little bit of reverses and stuff um for every holographic I wanted to display the holographic and the reverse holographic next to it so we have the holographic nine tails and the reverse nine tails missing the nine tails break and the reverse charizard but pretty fleshed out um we're missing the Mega, the Blastoise EX and the Mega Blastoise EX. I have one, but this condition is not as great as I would like on it. Um, it's super beat up, and so I wanted to... It's a placeholder for now, but I would like to get a better conditioned one, or if I pull a better conditioned one, um, uh, I'll replace it. This one's filled out with the reverse holographics as well. That's nice. I like it missing a whole lot of things here this page is filled out i like that uh missing some reverse reverse electabuzz and i need the needle king holographic wow that's out of focus i'm sorry missing me ex and the reverse holographic mew need the reverse holographic machamp but page is slowly coming along still missing a couple of uh, reverse holographics here and there i do need the energy for that one uh, and then the full arts, I just need the Mega Venusaur, Dragonite EX, uh, Mega Pidgeot EX, and full art Dragonite and Misty's Termination full art, and then I think I'm missing the Flying Pikachu here. Um, but, oh, and then these are my, the non-holographic error cards uh, that we picked up on Thursday. Moving on. Unified Minds. Now, this binder is like super not thick compared to the other one because Unified Minds is something that we have not opened much of. Um, 
a lot of this came from that one set that we picked up like way long ago full of like reverses and stuff like that from unified minds um so uh it was an ebay ad that i picked that up from so we haven't opened up a lot i do have some booster boxes of unified minds that i would like to get into um and open more of and then i will do uh i will start i mean i've already started to buy like singles here and there um to try and complete the set as you can see the full art page is like super empty i don't even have any gold cards and then the end of the set because there's the extras right there the duplicates that would go in that area unified minds i don't have much of but i would like to get more of so slowly work on that but team up is probably the main priority because it's getting so hard to find packs for, so it's just gonna be singles instead. Um, but I will be opening up more Unified Minds in the future. Cosmic Eclipse, something that we worked on quite a bit, um, but still missing a fair amount of cards. So let's go through these. Uh, a lot of reverses that I still need. Um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm missing a lot of reverses, but this one's definitely more fleshed out than Unified Minds because we opened more. Um, so we will open up i still have one i have one more box that i can open up for unified uh, cosmic eclipse but they're still kind of coming in the uh, pokemon product so i'm not too worried about that but uh i would like to flesh this out a lot more because as you can see the full art pages are missing a lot full art pages are missing a lot secret rares we have some of but not too many as you can see we're missing a lot of cards because we haven't been able to pull a lot but um we did get some we did pull these three i think i bought that i don't know if i i remember if i pulled that one or not i might have huh weird i don't remember that one but i remember pulling these three for sure um but yeah and then got some extras in the back and that's cosmic eclipse and this fat binder right here is sword and shield base and uh, sword and shield base as well as rebel clash and the promo cards so we've done pretty well on our promo card collection uh this is for these are these ASEAN and zamazenta tins that i have I, which i have uh i just haven't opened it up yet so we're still missing some cards uh pretty fleshed out not too bad um a lot of reverse holographics that we're still missing but we're slowly getting there lapras v max i'm missing uh, more pico v i'm missing we're slowly getting there we've got more uh, sword and shield packs to be opened and on the way uh, I'm missing Snorlax and Snorlax VMAX still want those definitely for sure um, Snorlax is my favorite Pokemon and then yeah so not terrible not terribly bad uh, got some full arts uh, pulled these for sure Pulled the Marnie, pulled the Professor's Research, uh, Team Yelgrunt I did buy, pulled the Bead, uh, Metal Saucer I bought, um, yeah, and Team Yelgrunt we pulled, so energies for that one. Rebel Clash is probably more emptier than Sword and Shield because we haven't spent a lot of time opening up stuff, so it's not as fleshed out, but we will get into it. Um, We've got some decent lucky hits, but Rebel Clash is something that we haven't been able to open much of. I mean, we've slowly been opening up much, uh, some of them, but we will open up more in the future and hopefully complete these a lot more because it is lacking. Rebel Clash is lacking. I mean, it's not the worst binder that I have so far, but it is lacking. So hopefully we can complete more. Now, boom these cards we had yeah spent a little bit more than i would have liked to yesterday but this is going to do a lot for the collections um both both for modern and for vintage because i bought from two sellers yesterday so um we'll go through it bit by bit this first bag here is holographic and reverse holographic uh, cards of a wide variety of sorts so uh definitely got some stuff that i can add to in here uh column of broken bonds uh infernape from forbidden light 
Definitely need this card, actually. I don't have this one just yet for Cosmic Eclipse. Uh, there's a lot of random sets in here, but it looks like a majority of the cards that he has are for from Forbidden Light and from Cosmic Eclipse. I can use the Cosmic Eclipse ones, but not... And then he's got some Japanese cards in here, too. I'll run through these real quick. Um, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm going to cherry pick out the ones that I want to keep. Ooh. Energies. I'll probably cherry pick out the ones that I want to keep, but, uh, what is it? Uh, and use the ones for the set. Lots of reverse holographics here. Lots of things that I can use, actually. Um, we got some recent sets, Sword and Shield in there. Uh, but mainly a lot of Forbidden Lights and Burning Shadows. Um, uh, so, yeah, this person... He said that he mainly dealt with sealed collections. Um, but he did dabble and open up some stuff in modern sets, which is why he has so much of these. Um, so I guess he opened a lot of like Forbidden Light stuff. And I don't collect Forbidden Light. I don't have a need for it. So I don't know. I'm going to take a look at everything once I finish taking out what I need and keeping what I want to keep. And then with the remainder, I will... Uh, see what I want to do with it. I don't know if I want to sell it and make some of my money back. Because um, I'll price it out and then I'll sell it on eBay or online or something like that. Um, don't know if I want to do that just yet. Or if I want to... Uh, maybe maybe I'll do it in a giveaway. So we'll see. Uh, there are a bunch of code cards here. He said he didn't use because he doesn't play the online TCG, so don't know what I'm going to do with that yet, don't know if I'm going to sell them or keep them and give them away. Okay, so we've got into the Ultras and Secrets, uh, Japanese cards, Lily's Poké Doll, Lily the Ninetales, Rayquaza, Babies, Savali, boom, 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 Japanese, Japanese, this is a Secret Rare, also a Trevenet, Mawile, Wishy Washy, Septile, and then boom, we're going into English ones, and here we go. Lysander, Wishy Washy, Torkoal, definitely need those character cards. Reshiram, Zagram, Dialga, Lone Persian, Flygon. See, a lot of uh, Crasher Wake full art. Um, I believe this is Forbidden uh, Forbidden Light, if that set symbol is correct. Magnemite, Pikachu, this is a 20 buck card right here, character card. Uh, Coughing, Piplup, need that. Megalopunny, Red and Blue full art. This is actually one of the ones that really caught my eye because I really like Red and Blue. This team up card right here, um, and the tag team supporter cards like these—they're uh, going for a lot. Like the Cynthia and Caitlin ones, like thirty bucks sometimes. Zatland and a porter from Forbidden Light. Aha! Tapu Finny GX from Hidden Fates. Also something that caught my eye because it's something that I definitely need for my Hidden Fates because I don't have any of the gold top Tapu cards. Full art Charizard and Brakeson. Need that for the collection. Full art Blastoise and Piplup. Need that for the set. So Galio and Lunala need that. Blastoise and Piblo Ultra Rare. Babies. GX. I actually need that one for sure. Um, Dragonite EX. Full art. For Evolutions. That's going in the binder. Sylveon GX. One of the evolutions that I don't have from Hidden Fates. Yeah. This is why I bought the collection. Charizard Breaks In. Greninja. Deancey from... Nah, nah. Not much I need from there. But... As you can see, there are definitely some key cards in here that I can use for my collection. Okay, last bit of the box. Maybe you can see that, maybe you can't. But, uh, let's see. This was online code cards. Some sleeves that he had extra in there. Okay, let's run these boxes. Empty after that, let's run through these real quick. Because these I picked up, and this is like all the more expensive things that I bought. Worth it? Yes and no. I'm not gonna tell you how much I spent, but yes and no. They're definitely fleshing out the collections, and we're one step closer to our goals of 151 and completing our friend Dan's uh, vintage collection. So, got an Electabuzz, Rocket Sneak Attack, non holographic, Dark War Tortle, Dark Dug Trio. That's a hollow rare. 
Uh, Rainbow Energy from Team Rocket. Full Art Dragonite EX, because I like the look of it and I wanted one to display. Uh, Full Art Moltres, Articuno, Zapdos um, from Hidden Fates. I don't need it, but of how my, how my set set up right now for the binder setup, I do need one more. Got a pincer from Jungle. First edition Machamp from the boxes. Jinx. Dark Weezing Holographic. You can't tell what it is. It should be. Yes. Yeah. There wasn't very much holographic on Dark Weezing. Kabutops. Dark Hypno. Dragonair. Raichu from Fossil. Needle Queen, non holographic. Digger. Digger. He threw in an extra one just because one had a crease on it. I have an Articuno. Uh, holographic. Conditions on most of these are actually pretty, pretty good. Um, not very... Since these are all going into the binder, I wasn't too particular about it. I just wanted it to look good in a binder. But some of these are actually really clean. Um, I actually would have bought more if... Uh, but the guy kept some because he was like, Ah, I, I, I want to grade some of these. I was like, alright, fine, keep them. Otherwise, I would have paid more money, actually. Dark Slowbro. Uh, Venomoth. Holographic. Dark Vaporeon, second Kabutops, Vaporeon, Dark Vileplume, Dog Trio, second Pinsir, Wondrous Labyrinth. So he had some stuff from modern sets that I was like, I'm gonna pick these up and take them off your hands because I need them for my binder collections. So uh, Wondrous Labyrinth was something from Team Up that I was missing. Ooh. We got a Hyper Rare. I don't have any Hyper Rares from uh, Unified Minds, actually. Hyper Rare Keldeo from Unified Minds. Electro Charger for Team Up. Yeah, I saw these and I was like, yeah, I'm going to take them off your hands. Because uh, he mainly dealt with uh, more vintage cards, but he does open some of the briefs and stuff, I guess. Hyper Rare Latios and Latios. Team Up. Hyper Rare Garchomp and Gu Guarantina. Unified Minds. So I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm going to take these off your hands. Ghastly, first edition from Fossil, Nightly Garbage Run. Uh, here comes Team Rocket. Yeah, these are going to flesh out my Team Rocket collection as well. Holographic, Needle Queen. Second Darth Vaporeon, Dark Jolteon. Flareon. This was encased. I don't know. Like, this was just how he bought it. Flareon. Pretty good condition on this one. Uh, it's going in the binder, so I'll take it out of the case for sure. Maybe I'll put something else in there. Uh, and then the last two were splurge buys because they're not going towards uh, collecting or into a binder of any sorts. Not the best condition, but fairly good condition. Um, so... The last two were splurge buys. They're not going into any sort of binder. I just like, I was like, ah, I want it. Boom. Espeon from Neo Discovery. Fairly clean. Right? Yeah. Pretty clean. And the second one right here. Yeah, like I said, they're not in the greatest condition, but I'm not. It's not like I'm grading these. I just wanted them because they were nice. And and uh, and that'll do it. All of these, a lot of these cards, will be adding to my um, vintage collection. Uh, well, I mean, a lot of these cards will be adding to my collection in general, um, both vintage and modern. And I'm excited. And I'm going to do more binder organizings as i get through this i'm excited about that and i hope you all have a lovely lovely saturday and a holiday um let me know what your plans are tell me what you're doing what you're up to the, today and i hope you all have a safe weekend and i will see you on monday for another one hope you enjoyed the video like comment subscribe standard youtube stuff but in any case i will see you again on monday for more pack openings and trying to flesh out our collections even further. But until then, peace.